Good fucking evening, you pumpkin potatoes. Welcome to an official Strong Katonki stream, featuring COD 2. Let's just enjoy the era of Great World War 2 games, shall we? Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. And I won't stop until I've played every good or bad World War 2 shooter. Now let's chew ass and kick bubblegum, and also kick some Nazi ass. <laughs> hey trans, welcome buddy. I'm glad you could make it. We are playing COD 2. Yeah, we actually have completed <laughs> COD 1 and the United Offensive uh, expansion. And uh, earlier today I was actually making sure COD would run properly. So it should run properly. I'm just not sure yet if I need to grab it with game capture or with display capture. So that's the only issue. Uh, other than that, it should probably work fine. Just to know if it's gonna grab the game or not. No. So that means I gotta play windowed mode. If it's gonna let me. Alt-Enter does not work. Oh my god. Well, that is amazing. Um, yeah, game capture does not seem to work. Unless maybe I do this. But, uh... No, I gotta alt or I gotta put it in windowed so that I can just display or uh, uh, capture it the other way. I'm just gonna check if there's any. I don't think there is any Windows mode. I gotta go to the uh, config file, I believe. This is great. Uh, let's see, config file. Amazing start again. Uh, let's see. COD 2. Main player config. There I go. Um, let's see. Full screen is set to 1. Let's put it to 0. And that should probably fix everything. And I should just be able to capture the uh, thingy. <clears throat> Hey Slayer dude, welcome as well. Alright, let's see, display capture, no, what was it, window capture, that's the one I need. Card 2, there we go. Just in time for the cutscene. If, uh, oh, just, there we go, perfect. I'm doing okay, I actually got a day of rest today. So I'm happy with that. Tomorrow I got another day of work. But yeah, I got called off work uh, for today. <clears throat> but yeah, Call of Duty 2. Actually, I'm very happy that I found out uh, because I haven't really completed this game, I believe, in the past. I'm not sure. Um, but I've been watching some documentaries on uh, YouTube lately. And uh, one specific one was... Uh, Operation Compass in North Africa and I'm actually very happy to read that this game also plays in North Africa but I think it's past Operation Compass when the Germans attack again and the British are on the defensive because Operation Compass took care of North Africa took over from the Italians and then um, Rommel was uh, ignoring orders to stay put and attacked to the east again to the British and had the British retreat over and over. I'm really doing my best to freaking, you know, watch more of these documentaries to learn more about each battle so I can appreciate the battles more in these games. I might even replay COD 1 
and two now as well after getting back uh, after you know having seen more documentaries and you know just explaining more about the battles because I really think there's a lot of uh, visualization the games bring I'm gonna be at the swimming pool all day tomorrow from 11 to 5 oh cool that sounds good I'll be at work <laughs> I'll be at frickin' work. Call of Duty 2. Alright, let's do this. It says resume mission, because I uh, tested it out just today. But yeah, uh, there's like three Russian missions, and there's four British. I believe most, if not all, are... Uh, from North Africa, and like I said earlier, I, I believe past Operation Compass in America, I think Normandy again, and probably something else, I don't know. So, yeah. Um, freaking. Yeah, Red Army training. I'm gonna go with regular this time, because I hope it's gonna be more balanced. <laughs> so, let's just try it out and uh, see how it goes. Start the freaking mission. 1939. The I like this kind of stuff. Of First of all is Poland, then Denmark, Norway, France, Belgium, Luxembourg, and the Netherlands. Now the year is 1941. With an army over 7 million strong, the Nazi war machine turns to the east and begins the invasion of the Soviet Union. Not a good idea. Greek tactics, they advance quickly, smashing relentlessly through the Soviet defenses and arrive at the capital city of Moscow in under four months. Desperately and then they fail at Stalingrad. The Soviet defense of Moscow now falls to thousands of raw recruits <laughs> who must hold out against the well-trained German forces in the freezing cold of the Russian winter. Yeah, I, I do like these kind of videos talking more about history because... That's just me, you know, I just love the freaking, you know, learning about history. So, when you get those kind of nice videos, like reading this, you know, reading different blogs and stuff, I just, I don't like reading, because that'll be boring for stream as well, but just watching a nice video, you know, information, feed us information, give the people knowledge about, you know, the events here. <sighs> Red Army Welcome training. Welcome to basic training, comrades. Comrades. If you wish to survive, you will do exactly as I say. Now, walk over to that table and pick up those weapons. <laughs> and there's no weapon for me. Where's my weapon? You will have to move faster than that, comrade. You will need a real weapon if you wish to kill the fascists. Look at your compass. The star on the compass shows the location of your current objective. Now go to the storeroom and get a pistol and a rifle. Move! I mean, dude, look at the graphics though. What year was this game? Because the graphics are pretty good, I believe, for... Uh, oh, is my mouse really... Like, I did put the... Thing on. Vasily, get a pistol and a oh, rifle fuck. from the storeroom! I did limit my FPS to 50, but it's doing the same damn thing sometimes with the aim. 06, 05. The weapons are on the table, comrade. Thank you, comrade, for the weapons. Good. Now go back and report to the commissar. For the 360. Now, I believe COD 3 was for the 360, right? Wasn't it? I may be mistaken, but I believe COD 3 was the launch title for the 360. Very good, comrade. Always remember to use the star on your compass to reach your current objective. Star is our okay, best. Okay, Vasily. Let us see how good your aim is. Aim for one of those two teddy bears. Good, now fire at the other one. Nope. What? I... No. Who can do that? Does that might be good for short range, comrade, but for long range targets, a rifle is better. 
step up to the shooting range. Turn players into payers. Ready, comrades? Poor teddy Shoot bear. those bottles Bad and Russian. plates. Imagine that they are the enemy. <laughs> Poor teddies. All right, plates. Oh my god, destruction physics. Why are we shooting bottles of wine as well? Why can't we just shoot the damn helmet? Aim down your sights, Vasily. You will be much more accurate than I am aiming down my sights. Very good, comrade. Bastard. Yeah, I just ruined these bottles of wine. Why not just use empty bottles? You know, that would be a bit more, uh, you know. Just a waste of wine. Yeah, my aim is screwing up a little bit every now and then. Very good, comrade. But it's not game breaking so far. Shoot the wine, save the vodka. Yeah, okay, I guess Russians don't drink wine, they just drink vodka. See how well you can do under pressure. Under you pressure. Have 15 seconds to shoot the helmets. Ready? Go. Shoot the helmets. I've already been shooting helmets, bro. God damn it. Aim better. Good comrade. Now come over here and bash this mannequin with your rifle. Bash. That's enough, comrade. Come over here and pick up a grenade. A grenade? These are potatoes, Comrade Commissar. <laughs> Why are we using potatoes instead of real grenades? Because real grenades are valuable. In fact, they are worth a lot more than you are. <laughs> oh, uh, of course, Comrade Commissar. My, my mistake. <sighs> God, too. Oh, God. Danny Crash Danger, welcome. I'm happy you uh, like this. I've been actually playing the first COD uh, like a few year, uh, years, a few weeks ago. I streamed the first Call of Duty with the uh, <coughs> um, uh, United Offensive expansion. But I'm happy you uh, do like COD 2 as well. And thank you for the host as well. Now throw a potato into each of those marked target areas. We're gonna throw potatoes at his head because we can. <laughs> he just doesn't give a fuck. Throw one in that doorway, Vasily. I gotta throw it in the doorway Good first. Throw. Not bad, not bad. Good throw. Comrade Commissar! Comrade Commissar! We've got a prisoner. Come take a look. <laughs> oh yeah, prisoner. Slap him. Let's give him an anal probe. <laughs> we need those potatoes to make fries, damn it. What? Behind our lines, und, und to the southeast, and they are supported by half tracks and mobile artillery. Sir, there's a German attack forming to the southeast. It looks serious. Listen, comrades, there is an armory to the east in the basement. He's of pretty ours. calm. Go there and load up on ammunition and supplies. I will stay and take care of our guest. Remember what you have learned. <laughs> Good luck. Comrade Commissar, Comrade Com Is that like normal to just call them Comrade first? Oh damn. Um, this might be a little bit too loud for you guys. Let me just slightly lower it. Because I'm seeing the bar get a bit high. <clears throat> Where's my save button? No quick save button. Freaking half track. All right, let's go. What's up? PP. Yes. Yes. 
Yes, give me PP. He played it on veteran. <laughs> Grab an armload of potatoes. Yeah, uh, I just play on normal. <laughs> yeah, I love the PP. I love I love grabbing the PP. Why do I not have any quick save? What's my quick save button? Uh, yeah, 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 interact? No. There's no quick save. What? What? Huh? What? Huh? N no quick. What? You, you, you serious? I don't see a save option at all. My god, this game sucks! Throw a smoke grenade. Okay, throw it. <clears throat> Sorry! Smoke, smoke. Smoke weed every day. Ah, it's just checkpoint based. Fuck. I just loved it when you could just quick save. Why would you remove such a feature? Pee pee, shoot pee pee, shoot pee pee. Yeah, there we go. Pee pee does its job. I love the clear enemy screams though. God damn it! You crawl right in front of that. Oh, so this is where the you are hurt get to cover mechanic starts. Okay. <laughs> so this is the moment where the memes started. <clears throat> oh wait, where's my... Where's my rifle? Say what? I can only have a PP? I mean, I don't mind having a PP, but mostly I have like a rifle and a... Machine gun. I mean, normally you could just have two. Gunplay feels great, though. Oh, you can trade the pistol in? Oh shit, really? I'll, I'll trade a pistol for a rifle, then. There we go. Car 98, right? Or... I'm not sure. Yeah, car 98. And pee pee! Ah! Say what? So I have no health bar? Oh well, I have pee pee. Use pee pee! Grenade! Kanata! I know I've heard that German in Call of Duty. Company of Heroes, specific voice actor. Or two games just reuse the same three German voice actors. <laughs> I'm not sure, maybe. Just those three guys represent the voice of the entire German army of World War II. So, do I have a sprint key? God damn it, I don't have any sprint. Is there any sprint? Can we can we go fast? Move, lean, jump, stance, toggle, prone. There's no gotta go fast. Oh man, they look pretty cool though with those. Covered up faces and stuff. 
Also, I still think Stahlhelm's helmets look pretty cool. Like, gotta be honest, Stahl helmets look pretty cool. Modern movies, they also use the Wilhelm screen. Yeah. They use that everywhere. It's pretty much just a meme now. Destroy it! I, mean, I would just place it in the middle, but oh well. My God, I thought we were in training. There is no better training, comrade, than fighting to survive. Victory! We won. Fall asleep during the stream. So good night in advance. I'll try to be awake and speak as much as I can. All right, cool. Thank you for your dedication and watching, man. I really appreciate that. Let us continue. <clears throat> yeah, I doesn't like the load screen, but uh, like I have too much trouble reading this correctly. Today we have been ordered to reinforce positions north of something street. And I just okay. Demolition Stalingrad. I'm cold. I'm tired. Hot food or dry clothing for a medical treatment and a safe place to sleep and wake you at the nearest German field hospital. One of the best doom streamers. Uh, I, I wouldn't say so myself, but thank you very much for for that. <laughs> I appreciate it. Oh my god, I got a pee pee! Use the pee pee! Uh oh, that was smoke, not grenade. Okay, let's see. Hey, that's a female! Sonya is fighting with us. Ah, oh, my smoke worked. I think it's pretty funny how, like, the Russians are, like, yelling, FASCISTS! And... <laughs> and the... And the Germans are yelling, like, COMMUNISTS! Ah... <laughs> uh. The only old Doom streamer that I've found so far. Oh man, there's plenty of uh, old. Wait, what? You calling me old? I'm not old. I'm 23. I'm young. What? Why are you calling me old? <laughs> what? I'm not old. There's plenty of other like streamers my age and older ones, I believe, as well. Oh, old Doom. Oh. But there's like plenty. You got freaking Zul, you got Loveless, you got Gorf, you got uh, what? M Mr. Minor, you got. Uh, you got so many. Like. What? How can, how can people only find me? You also got Officer D. My buddy, it's my boy. Alright, let's do some rifle work here. To be accurate, bloody screen. <laughs> All right, perfectly healthy again. Germans, Soviet is at home. All right, let's freaking go. Did he just say fascist scrub lord? Oh shit. Yeah, Dying Camel as well. I forgot about him. He's actually the first one I should have named. Because it's the first one I found. <laughs> Papers. Piggly, there's a random chance of someone calling the face after you deny them. Huh. 
Hey, Albert, thank you for the host, man. How you doing? I don't know. Maybe I'm old to some people. A guy at my work thought I was like 50. Like, I'm not kidding. He thought I was like 50. Although, when I'm at work, I have like my hair tied up and like an, a hair block thingy for when you work in a food factory and like a thing around my beard. He'll throw a grenade. Granata! Communists! Nazis! Fascists! Pee pee! Pee pee, do my work! Man, I love the pee pee. Oh boy, there's a lot of you here. Ah, grenade! Get out! Oh, those are my allies. Damn it. I'm doing good, enjoying myself, playing some COD 2. <laughs> Italian Nazis. B for binos. Noish. I like little things like that. Ooh, that looks like a Panzer III turret. Could be wrong. Maybe a Panzer IV turret. What is it? It is a Panzer II. That's a Panzer II. It's about damn time you showed up. This way, comrades. Oh boy, chat, you're going like crazy shit with feet. We see you, but because it is very loud. <laughs> Fighter jet taking off. Oh my god, he's taking a wounded person. Vanya. Oh shit, look at that. Look at them wheelies, bro. Freaking wheelies. That's a lot of panzers. Where'd they all go? Suddenly there's like Russian troops everywhere. I will prepare my PP. Pee PP is prepared. Uh oh. Ooh, I got the sniper rifle. Uh, am I Should I use the sniper rifle or not? Der Untergang. Freaking. Here they come! Oh. Yeah, they're moving pretty fast and in large numbers. Oh man, look at this. Look at this shit. Man, this is crazy. Beep, beep help me! Go, go, go! Attack! Man, this is crazy shit, though. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, grenade, get out. Oh, shit. <sighs> Freaking nine, yes, wait, 
Was that nine from Inglorious Bad? I'm not sure. Could have been. I'm not sure now. I thought it was from the Intergang, but maybe it was from Inglorious Bastards. <laughs> uh, I remember that movie, though. <laughs> that was a good one. That was like just Americanized World War II movie, you know? Bring me scalps! Shit, man, someone's shooting me over there. Alright, what if we throw a smoke over there? We'll have some cover on the right flank. That's it. I'll get some cover. Use my pee pee! Pee pee! Oh, you're so loud. Uh oh. Okay, let's see, let's go into this hole. Just crouch a little bit forward. Ah, it is from Inglorious Bastards. Okay. That's cool. Oops! Shot my ally. Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't paying attention. Oh yeah. Get the react. Although I it can be funny, it did get overdone with the Hitler reacts. And they are retreating like crazy. They'll throw a frickin' smoke again. I like the mechanic with added smoke grenades. That's some tactical stuff. I like it. Now we can crawl to this sandbag. And then we'll be pretty close. Oh shit, there's a lot of them. Let's just throw a grenade in. Alright, there's a few I have aim on. Ah oh, man, so many are like very low. Just barely poking out. God damn it! Run out of ammo. What's this? Ooh. Yes, please. Damn it. So, all right, are we clear? This is my PP pee -pee again. Just got an MG and I'm pretty much clear. Oh boy. Damn, there were so many around the corner. Technically, they were wrong. They said, like, Russian grenades, but I was actually throwing a German grenade. Almost had the PP ammo. What's those sounds I hear? Okay, we cannot go in there. Shouldn't we ask them to surrender, comrade? 
blow them the fuck up, guys. What? Where? Here you go, Conrad. Set these charges on the main supports. Quickly. One and the two. What? Oh, they're shooting me from up there. Damn, son. That's sneaky breaky. Looks exactly like the one you've been throwing. Oh, what? Really? I know they also had like a stick grenade, but they were a little bit different, but I don't know. The charges are set! Get to a safe distance! Get to cover, boys! It's about to blow! They clear the building! Move it! Alright, explosion! I don't know, the Russian ones look different in uh, the games because he puts like a pin inside. Cool, I've unlocked the Brit British campaign. Success is not final, fear is not fatal. Courage to continue that counts. Hey, see them. Um, I am uh, playing in windowed mode, like my game is windowed. And then I'm using OBS's window capture function because uh, game capture did not pick it up, sadly. I hope that will help you. Alright, let's do the next mission. Yeah, I had that problem with Call of Duty 1 as well, but uh, we managed to uh, figure it out. I believe it was my friend Kaido Kane who helped me figure that out. Turning players into payers. But scratcher, home but scratcher. Mm, but scratcher. But scratcher. But scratcher. No, Peter, no. But scratcher. Stalingrad, 1942. German forces, having reduced the city to rubble in a massive aerial bombardment, meet with heavy resistance as the Soviet Red Army throws its entire force into the defense of Stalingrad. In the chaos of constant warfare, battle lines have dissolved. The ruins of the city have been divided up into hard points surrounded by no man's land. The German tactical advantage of the mechanized Blitzkrieg and its coordinated infantry and tank attacks is rendered useless in the concentrated street fighting. Threatened with execution if they retreat, the Soviet troops have no Not choice true. but to push forward into the bloodbath. Well, only if the commanders would issue a retreat, not if a soldier would retreat. Um, yes, I'm playing the Steam version. Yeah, I love Family Guy. <laughs> Who doesn't? But yeah, that was actually like a theory that whenever a Russian troop would would retreat during Stalingrad that he would be shot. But that was actually debunked. Uh, I saw a video about it and uh, like official documents stated that it was only like if a... Uh, officer like a leader would uh have his troops retreat and stuff like that then you know that guy would have been you know responsible for it but like retreating like soldiers retreating because they're getting overwhelmed that's like that was nothing said about that specifically so yeah Vasily, take second squad and repair the field phone wire i'll clear these buildings with first squad and meet you on the other side go okie dokie So what we got? We got PP and we got SVT-40. Nice, I love these guns. Alright, if you say so. MG-42! Shit, got a few more repair. Points to uh, 
repair and repair Hey, that's Moscow, right? Damn grenade getting cover. Ow. There goes the MG. Ah! Get to cover! Yeah, if only just quickly in the heat of a freaking battle. Just boop, repair a cable, no problem. <laughs> Let's put some tape around it, bro. You know, just like this, like, boop, fixed. Beep, beep, help me. Ow. Yeah, that's the Russian stick grenade I threw now. Like, that's a clear difference in looks. Like, the whole shape of the cylinder is different as well. Because it has, like, ridges. Look careful. Yeah, that was a German one I threw now. Just before that, I threw a Soviet one. We need to surrender. Oh, shit, how am I gonna kill these fools? Alright, um, throwing a smoke. So I can get to a better position. There we go, check that out. Just suddenly no one's firing anymore. <laughs> he just runs into the smoke. What? What a stupid pleb. And the smoke stays for a long time. It's the Germans because the freaking smoke cleared. Ah, oh, damn grenade. <laughs> it's like, holy shit, no wonder. You're surprised if Germans behind the smoke? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Damn it. Damn grenade. German dum dum ram right. <laughs> yeah, it ran right in my gun, bro. There's a lot of them, man. I'll see if I can run a bit further. Have some better aim. Oh, there's so many of these dudes. Oh, pee pee. Pee pee, help me. 
Let's repair the cable in the middle of the fight. Alright, we got an inside place here. Oh shit, that's a lot of them. Shit! Get out! Noobs. I have more PP ammo. You did? Nope! God damn it, die already! No, they're, they're like anti-grenade soldiers. Pretty crazy. Damn it, another grenade. Move out of the way, you poops! You still didn't block me. I couldn't run away from the grenade. What a bunch of poop heads. Alright, fuck it. I have a smoke. Oh. Yeah. Look at these stupids. was that a bomb perhaps oh shit what he's so alive oh it's a new dude Building collapsing, or maybe a desk on my head. Random anvil falling from the sky. He did? Nope, plenty of them. Ah, where the fuck? The fuck come do you come from? Ooh, do I have targets? Oh yeah. Get MG'd, son. Oh yeah. Uh, and I want to grab that. I want to keep my PP. Strong, he always wants to keep his PP. Ow. Ooh, nice throw, though. Throw skills are real. <laughs> Fucking Salto, man. He believed he could fly. Oh, there's a lot of grenades, man. Grenades, man. Clear. What was that? Oh. Nice, finally clear. 
Excuse me, holy damn. Oh god damn it, stop with your grenade spam! Looks like I'm out of ammo. Me or did I saw a sniper glance just now? I'm not sure. What's this? PPS. Oh, what? We got a PPS 42. Whoa. I did not know about this gun. But it has different ammo. Ooh, so I got two PPs. Guys, I got two PPs. Look, I got two PPs. Oh my god. Yes, of course. Without any lube. Just a raw. He did. Fix. Sticky bombs. We are reading you loud and clear, Comrade Kozlov. Well done. Wait. Hold on a moment. Yeah, keep out any provalis. Go. You have to provalis. Panzer spotted approaching your sector. Hand those bastards down. Good luck. Panzers. Yeah. Good thing we had them, now that their panzers is com are coming. Now we just happen to find some explosives. Ah shit, get out! Man, this game is fun. My aim is crap! Sorry. Did you see how terrible my aim was there? Uh oh, get out! <laughs> my apologies for my terrible aim. Get out of there, and then he runs towards the grenade. Oh my god. Could actually use some smoke here. It's just, we're getting like freaking. like in a very narrow spot here. Right, let's go. <laughs> he may have fallen asleep. I hope he sleeps well if he did. Ooh, MG! I didn't know they still had Panzer IIs when they were attacking Russia, though. thought they moved on to bigger and better tanks, but I guess they still had them, though.
We all dead now. Come on, boys. Metal death boxes. Yes, metal death boxes. Hey, Kaido, how you doing? Welcome to Call of Duty 2. So that means I've completed Call of Duty 1 and United Offensive not too long ago. Alright, how do we get to that Panzer? Do I just jump down here? Just YOLO? Okay. Ah! The Panzer is aggressive! An actual moving Panzer. Mostly they're just stationary vehicles in, in the first game. Uh, another Panzer. Oh shit. Oh shit. I mean, I always think that is very brutal to just throw a grenade inside the tank. Just record some more videos and are completely exhausted after work. I can understand that, man. Come and chill with some stronky. Some stronky. gameplay. <laughs> but just think about it you're in a tank and someone just throws a grenade in there, you just know you're fucked. Oh, those are my allies, damn it. Uh, clear? No, we're clear. Your only escape would be through a bottom hatch. No, that's only a maybe, yeah, exactly. It's just a scary thing. Ah, oh, crap, we got another tank. I mean, can can I flank them through here, or... Oh wait, this is the beginning of the map. Nice. Good map design, then. Okay, what I would say is we throw... Some smoke over there. Um, I mean, if it goes... I mean, if, if the grenade would go all the way inside the breach, then yeah, I think it could do some heavy damage. It would at least knock the gun out. But it... What is even happening? Enemy infantry around that broken wall. Cut them down. Ah, oh, shit. Come on. Eh, eh. It's pretty cool. You gotta like chase them. Oh, nice. I actually just got it by hitting the engine instead of tracking it like I did earlier. Thank you for the cheers. Okay, we got another one or, or not. I think I... Oh, crap. Those... Yeah, that's... Uh... Not a safe place to go. I'd rather just try and flank through that way if that's possible. If that is possible, then you actually do have like... Yeah, you got like multi... This pretty good replay value here. I think better than the... No, never mind. It is dead end. 
Don't forget what I said. Holy kill, welcome. I got two PPs today, look. I got PPSH and I got PPS42. I got two PPs. Stronky has two PPs. More smoke ammo. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna need that here. Hey Kevin21 Supreme, welcome! You just needed to PP. Well, it's funny as well because when a German says he has to go pee, he says PP machen. Oh shit! No! PP save me! Man, I'm almost dying here. I need another smoke grenade. Oh shit, so many freaking grenades. Ah! Get away from me! It's brutal! Take out a Panzer II if I can. All right, say goodbye to your tracks. Just throw a grenade down the hatch. Vapen grenades and stuff that no one will see for nearly four weeks. Why am I doing this? I don't know, Kaido. I hope it's worth it for you. Let's go. Noish, man, this is fun. Hey, what was that not playing? Have you run out of coins? Because, I don't know, maybe maybe you ran out of freaking coins now. Damn, you spent all, you spent all of them? Wait, 35, that should be enough. Because it should cost 25, maybe I've made it a 50. I don't know, maybe it costs 50. Because it's fairly long or something, I don't know. Like, mostly the longer ones I just make more expensive. There we go. Okay, Conrad, this way. Let's go. Hey, Toby, welcome. I'm about to get into this pipe, and I have two PPs. I got more ammo for my other PP. Good luck, comrades. Can't stand here. He, my character can't stand it here. <laughs> ah, it's 50. Yeah, I'm in the pipe with two PPs. Yeah. <laughs>
Oh boy. Those are some big planes. Can I just shoot them? Or throw a grenade? Too bad, I couldn't throw a grenade. I tried throwing one. Uh-oh. What? <laughs> How could I have survived that? Really? Like, would it, did I do anything wrong there? Like... I don't know, like, I think I didn't do anything wrong, did I? Oh, I did everything wrong. Okay, well now I'm on my own. Yeah, Sen. Um, this is pretty intense. Shit. Ah, uh, okay, I gotta go here. The back, boys. My bullets don't go through the pipe, it seems. Yeah, we're in a pipe. Uh oh. Man, that was an accurate throw. Oh, those are my allies. Lol. What's this? The lonely door. You have to accept our sets as broke plebs. <laughs> well, there is a rank that is past pleb. <laughs> and then there's like 2k bling bing or something. Oh, I thought I could just grab more ammo for my PP, but no. Stay close to me. Oh, dead dudes. Into the trench. Secure the station, Let's go the Advanced. What is ammo for a PP? Uh, I don't know. This ammo. Uh, wait, can I just go further and just flank them? Because it seems a lot clear, more clear over here. Alright, what if I throw a smoke over there? I'll just be able to go right there inside. I know, it was a joke. <laughs> Hope it sounded like a fart, XD. 
Mm. It's a weird sounding fart. Hmm. I'm not sure. Maybe, I mean, it's, it might be an idea. Maybe it's because you changed your Twitch name again. I'm not entirely sure, but that might be a possibility. Uh, that it doesn't recognize you. I can look into it later on if you want. And give you your coins. Now, it doesn't nuke your coins, but it leaves the coins on holy guacamole. But I can I can pretty much take that those coins away and just put it, give them to you. But that'll be like after the stream. Look at all those grenades! What? I'm being attacked from behind? Really? Drink the pee pee. Ah, uh, I don't drink pee pee. Toby Laws changed his name as well. What was your old name? I mean, if if anyone has changed their name and tells me their old name, then I can just, uh, you know, send them over the coins of their old name later on after the stream. Man, look how high he flew. Communist! Ah oh, shit, get away! You're gonna let me die! Up in the second boot. Okay, this is gonna be pretty dangerous. No, I shoot MG. Turning players into payers. <laughs> I'm going to bed. I need to wake up early tomorrow. As always, honored to see you stream again. I had lots of fun. See you guys next time. See you next time, Slayer Dude. Have a good night's sleep. Thanks for chilling. Thanks for all the cheers. And I hope to see you next time, man. Sleep well, buddy. Uh, your old name was Toby Farts. I mean, I can just check in a list with people names and how many coins they have. So if there's an actual Toby Farts in there and he has 2,000 coins, then I can just see that. <laughs> Ah, oh, no targets. Damn it. First floor. How about you get away from our building? That's a lot of them there. Look at that. Oh. I mean, you're running, like, from the position where the Germans are. Of course I'm gonna think you're an enemy. Damn, that team kill. 
<laughs> That's okay, Toby. I thought you were making a joke anyway. Toby trolls. <laughs> It's like a mix of enemies and allies there, what the fuck, come on. I'm not getting shot from left. Got it, but I didn't get him. I think. <sighs> Holy Kill was actually his old name. Then he changed it to Holy Ashwall and to Holy Guac, and then back to Holy Kill. There's so many of these dudes. Look at this. The floor is like literally bodies. Turning players into payers. <laughs> God damn it, I missed it, I think. I'm not sure. Did I hit it? Fans are up there on different accounts. <laughs> Thank you for the cheer, Toby. God damn, another grenade. Get out of the way! I need to run from grenade! Oh, and he killed himself with his grenade. GG. That's a fucking crazy level, man. I'm running out of PP ammo. Nine days left to change your name again. Damn. Yeah, I've only changed my Twitch name once. I was actually watching uh, Mr. Icarus's live stream when I changed it to Stronky Tonky. Because I still had like my old name. God damn it! No ammo. What am I gonna do now? Get killed by a grenade, of course. Just as I want to grab the freaking gun. What the hell is happening, even? Ah, oh, damn it! I keep hitting allies because they're like. It's, it's a mix of everyone here. Throwing a smoke grenade in there was the worst idea ever. Okay, MP40. In case I run out of PP ammo. Just 
Throw her another smoke grenade. Oh man, look at these grenades! That looks like sticky poo. But yeah, I do just love the chaos in this game. It really feels like war. It's just constant action and nice cinematics without taking control away from the player like they would start doing in later games. And silence. Taking all the silence, guys. Oh, we got PP ammo. Oh, we got PP ammo. <laughs> Highly explosive Soviet shit. <laughs> Ooh, more PP ammo. Look at all this PP ammo we're gathering. All right, what's our next next objective? Clear the suspected enemy supply dumps. Another enemy hardpoint east of the station house. Clear it out. Gold marks on the means you can choose your path complete to complete the objective. Ah, so now we have a multiple choice. It's time to kick ass and chew bubble gum. I'm all out of gold. Ah, crap. Being shot from that side, being shot from this side. Oh, and we got C as well. Or do I just... I need to complete all? I don't know, I'll just go to that way first. Oh, shit. Actually, let's use some PP. But you know what this and Call of Duty 1 also makes me feel like the amazing feeling of rifles like here's a TV that they just feel good now I'm not using any gum, but I'm all out <laughs> like I don't use any rifle at this moment but I do appreciate rifles a lot especially the bolt action ones like, I should probably grab this, because it's not very useful to have two machine guns. So now I have a uh, Car 98, which I really... It's very satisfying to use one. Exactly, that's how the PP goes. And it also goes poop, 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 poop. Man, these guys are hard to hit. Ah, I got him. But mostly I would just go like inside a building, like submachine gun and like those long range engagements, just use a rifle. Go from cover to cover or flank them here. Oh damn, and there's like more dudes over here. Oh crap. This is crazy! Alright, we completed this one. Eliminate the enemy forward position. Man, I like this though. This is, in my opinion, very good level design. Because it has you walking around the map. It reminds me of Medal of Honor Airborne a lot. 
uh, where it's just, you know, you have three objectives, but they're all in different locations, and you can just choose the order of completing them yourself. That's very good. Very good game design. Just gotta give it credit for that. Go to A. Ow. Didn't see you guys. Why were you all in here when you have an MG emplacement? Now we clear the suspected enemy supply dumps. I don't see any ammo supply, maybe in these things, I guess. But yeah, why would they all hiding in here when they had an MG over here? They could. Well, okay, not exactly used there, but still, I could have used this one. Anyway, now we just gotta take out the machine gun position, which we have plenty of freedom to do now. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. bug kill confirmed, bitch. It is dead insect. Alright, uh, yeah, feeling like I should use some smoke here. Let's see. No smoke grenades! Oh, fuck me. Oh, yeah. 33 buds. Down and counting. Dead son. Victory. Well done, comrades. Then should take care of Did his helmet just spawn on top of his head? Next mission. Oh, I think this was like the first major mission, right? I'm not sure, because the mission is like consistent of multiple levels. And I will see. January 2nd, 1943. Surrounded on all sides by Soviet forces, the German 6th Army at Stalingrad continues to crumble in the absence of a desperately needed supply line. Many German soldiers trapped in the city, who are now literally starving and running out of ammunition, continue to fight regardless fearing that the Soviets will execute those who attempt to surrender. The fighting amongst the firebombed ruins of the city intensifies, as thousands of Soviet infantry continue to retake Stalingrad one block at a time. Clearing out Stalingrad. Comrades, the fascists have recaptured several apartments along this street. Our duty is to take back these buildings one by one and then destroy their ammunition depot <laughs> in the city hall. Duty. Ah, oh, we just get a pistol. I don't want a pistol. And a titty. We got a pee pee and a titty. A TD. <laughs> My God. Man, people must have really had a sore throat after the war. Just saying, with all the screaming going on. Damn it! 
Stop being so OP. You should pistol like a rifle, you never be inaccurate because of fear of between fingers. God damn it! But that guy over there is just not dying. Also, that female voice just sounds like a man voice with a high pitch filter behind it, just saying. Like, they couldn't find a female voice actor with a Russian accent, so they just pitch sifted it. Teddy bear! Oh god, what kind of panzer do we have here? Ah, oh, just a panzer too. Got anti tank stuff. Oh, yeah, there happen to be some sticky bombs in here. Well, didn't manage to put them on the back, but at least we're tracking the tank. Oh, okay, I haven't took it out, no problem. This guy just YOLO in. These buildings are back in Soviet hands, comrades. Head for that office building and clear it up. Next office building. Oh, what we got? Yeah, okay. Um... MG in there. Oh, he's wanting to plant another MG. Hopefully take him out. Come on. What the hell? We're not dying! What a damn cheater. Gonna jump to freaking shoot over that thing. Ow. God damn it. You can only mind Leben once. Mind Leben. Yeah, why does no one say that in this game? Go for flanking maneuver. Jump out. Ow. Ow, that's not a very smart idea. Sure, he survives it, but I don't. Cheater. AI are cheaters. I'm just gonna give him covering fire. Fuck that. Look at this. Alright, maybe I should just throw a smoke grenade. 
I don't even see these guys. You see them? One up there. That guy's like invisible. Okay, fuck it. Fucking smoke. Smoke, smoke. Why was he not shooting them from inside, you know? Been a smart move, but no. It's raining? What the fuck? That was like six grenades. Are you crazy? Look at this. Look, one, two, three, four, five. Damn son, okay, I'm gonna need another smoke here. But did they retreat? I don't see anyone. Oh, there's more. I was like, where are they? Suddenly they're everywhere on the left. Come on, kill them! So many of them, I barely see them inside. Ow. Yeah, blow the fuck up. Shoot first before actually jumping down there. That looks clear, but is it? Yeah, that is clear, except there's someone sniping me from behind, damn it. Ow. Now this is fucking chaos. Yet again. The good chaos, though. And the tank is moving, like it was her here earlier, but like it's not here anymore. I really like it that the tank can just move on the free will now.
Look, now it's over there. It's like retreating from me. He's afraid. Come on, put it on there. Get to cover. Kapawi. Yeah, that's, that tank was really afraid of me. I'm like crazy. Continue. Minus 30 degrees Celsius. That is fucking cold, my bro. That is like amazingly cold. Let's move! Let me guess. Ambush? The grenades are a little bit annoying, though. Can I flank them through here? No. God damn it. Him. Oh, that is one. I could barely see him. I'm still alive. He's like crawling on the floor. Damn it. Oh, god damn it. Oh, they're just two of them come for me. Holy damn, did you see that? I never knew freaking smoke grenades were so crucial in this game. Like it's crazy. Oh, that's a rock. I thought that was an enemy. What is this? That looks like a fucking jeep. Am I wrong here? 
This looks like a Jeep. If I'm correct, like... I mean, maybe it's like... Some other kind of Soviet armored car, but I would almost say it's a Jeep. And uh, then I'm wondering, what does a Jeep do over here? Oh well. Anyway, what, uh... Okay, I'm gonna, just gotta continue. Better taking him out. Say so what? Behind me. So now we're surrounded. Give me a break! Let me just kill these guys first. Wait, where the hell did he come from? And who was shooting him? Like, and there's just, like just ghosts in here. Oh, that was a court, uh, court, a short map. Holy damn! Like that went fast. That was like really short. Like compared to the rest, very weird. Combat sniper. <laughs> Sniping mission. Upstairs. First floor is clear. Huh. Heads out, sniper. God damn it. Well, good thing we have a sniper as well. Good. Now wait for Pavel to get that bastard's attention. Pavel, do it. Yes, comrade. Ah. Smart move. Left building. Uh. God damn it! He's dead. Good shot, comrade. Well done, Vasily. Now let's move on. Ooh. We still have to secure the rest of City Hall. Gonna head off to bed. Alright. Have a good night, Holy Kill. Thanks for chilling and see you next time, man. Sleep well. On me! Grisha, I am with you! Ooh, PPS 42.
All right, go downstairs. Anyone here? Right, where are you? Good. The building is secure, comrades. We must prepare for their counterattack. Take up defensive positions. Four waves, and this is where freaking zombies attack. started, right? Call of Duty zombies. I don't see any of them. Oh, I don't see it. What? How did he survive that? That was like right through his head. Damn it! I'm not even using Wilson. Damn it, kinda missed that one. What? Where do you come from? These are giving me a kind of a different mission for a change, which I very much like. Nice variation. Damn it. There we go. Where the hell did you come from? Anti-tank weapon? I don't know where an anti-tank weapon is. I haven't seen any. Oh my god, they're just attacking me from behind suddenly. What? I doesn't even survive that. Oh, really? Damn 
God damn it, no more PP ammo. Oh, here's a new PP. Oh, here's an anti-tank weapon. Oh well, too late. No, don't need it now anymore, I think. Well, that's the aft track I needed to blow up. I've completed the Russian campaign. Damn. Cool. Let's freaking do uh, next mission then. Ah, yes. North Africa. From the cold snow to the hot desert. Desert Fox, Field Marshal Erwin Rommel, arrives in Libya to assume command of the Africa Corps. Within a few months, Rommel, the rising star of the German army, recaptures the territory taken by the British Commonwealth forces prior to his arrival. Despite being heavily outnumbered by the British forces, the superior range and armor of the German tanks allows the Africa Corps to take the fight to the Allies. By July of 1942, the Desert Fox and his unstoppable Africa Corps, in a series of classic blitzkrieg attacks, pushes the British forces eastward across the deserts of Libya and into Egypt. Now in late 1942, holding their ground a mere 60 miles from the Egyptian capital of Cairo, British Field Marshal Montgomery's forces, including the Desert Rats of the 7th Armored Division, prepare to blunt the German offensive and regain the initiative. I'm looking forward to this. Curious to know uh, how this is gonna go. Queen Six, this is King Six. Enemy tank sighted leaving the depot. We're commencing our attack. Out. This is it, boys. Our decoys should keep those panzers busy while we wipe out their supply. Let's go! Ow. Oh wait, we're attacking them from behind, okay. Very unique sound for this Thompson. Stealing my thunder. Hey Chris, how you doing? Welcome. This was my next game for the World War II Marathon. Ah, which one did you actually play before that? Because I played Call of Duty 1 in United Offensive, but I believe you played something else. What? I was like right in the head. Oh, like blood spurting.
played Allied Assault, but I got back to it, I'll probably just start Pacific Assault. I mean, play whatever you want, man. There's a lot of good World War II games around there. I did uh, Call of Duty 1 and United Offensive Expansion before this. Really amazing games. God damn it! I'm just getting a freaking pop up on my screen. It's so funny because I was just watching a documentary about this uh, battle today. Don't know if I want to climb up here. Oh damn, that was- really? Those were my allies? I didn't know that. I thought we were defending. It's weird, because, like, why are there German bunkers if we were on the defense here and retreating? It's kind of weird. Uh, Airborne is also on the list, but I know if it will handle OBS on PC. Oh, Airborne is a great game. I played it on PS3, I believe. I did not complete the final mission, though, but, like, the rest I did. It's a great game. That sounds like an MG42, alright. Oh, uh, really? Is it unstable? Man, if I'm having too many problems, I'll just play the PS3 version that I have. But I obviously prefer playing an FPS on the PC. I wonder how common smoke grenades were uh, for soldiers. But so far, playing this game, just been having smoke grenades the whole time. Holy damn, what's happening here? Ammo stockpiles and fuel supplies. Oh shit, bro. Ah oh, shit. Shit, bro. Get out, get out. No, I fucked that up. Like, suddenly they were everywhere when getting out of that thing. Maybe a better idea. The PC version from one of requires its own version of DirectX. You need to install DirectX on computer. What the fuck? That is very weird. Well, I'm gonna try anyway, but yeah, if it'll be unplayable, then I'll just do the PS3 version. I'm not gonna blow it up yet because I want to make sure I have some safety out here. Yeah, 
Yeah, exactly. Well, they're like everywhere around us. It's freaking crazy. It's only Nvidia issue, which is more bizarre. Mainly PCR PCs that do it. Damn. I mean, that sucks when such a great game has such a terrible port. Finally, I guarantee the PC version port was just an afterthought, yeah. I'm very glad the mentality has gone past that, and they're now actually making, uh, giving proper attention to, to baby C versions. Because you often see a PC version gets uh, released much later, like for example Monster Hunter World or GTA 5 were all released like way later on the PC. I think Monster Hunter World is still yet to come out on PC. Which is good, because they're doing their best, you know, putting in a lot of effort and time to make the PC version. Too bad I wasn't listening to the dialogue here, it sounds pretty funny. No ammo. Hey, what are you crazy? Are you ready to mind? came out after the expo and in PS4 version. Yeah, that as well. Right. Alright, taking him out. Just die! Uh oh. Have a grenade, punk ass bitches. Damn it! God damn it! Where the fuck do you keep coming from, bastards? How did you survive that grenade? Yes, we got it. We got the enemy documents. Now we just gotta rendezvous. That doesn't sound good. She seemed pretty much fully optimized. That's good. We're needed back in a town, sir. Jerry tanks have been spotted advancing on our positions to the east. Looks like we're in for a bloody hard fight, lads. Get us back quickly, Private. Yes, sir. Davis, McGregor, get in the Bren Carrier. Move! Oh, we're yeah. Bren Carrier. Alright, I'm gonna stretch my legs because my legs are feeling pretty numb right now. So, I have a question for you, Chris. How would you compare. Uh, Call of Duty World War 2 to like Call of Duty 2 is it like just as good just with better graphics or is it like worse implying you uh, remember the campaigns of Call of Duty 2 or maybe even one in uh, the first one as well uh. That's much better to have stretched my legs out a bit. The gun sounds are much more horrific in World War II. The stories really to each their own. Mm. 
And the missions, like, are they fun? Are they, like, comparable to the missions in here? Like, not this, not the location of the missions, but, like, just, you know, uh, the combat and, like, you know, the different things. I heard there was, like, also a plane section, a tank section. So it does sound like classic Call of Duty. <laughs> the mechanics. That's good. Because I do like it when they just change things up. Like, I did the Russian campaign just now. And uh, after a while, like, I had suddenly a mission where I just, you know, got a sniper rifle, did a lot of sniping. So that was nice. And in the first Call of Duty, you had, like, tank missions thrown in between. You had the bomber mission in the United Offensive, which was super amazing. I love that mission. Hold the line! Dear, 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 dear. No, this is already in. It's going to be close. Hang on. Oh, damn, this is going to be rough. Things from what I've seen are classic with the modern cinematic comic twist. All right, cool. Well, the thing is, these games were cinematic as well. It's just that it didn't take control from the player away. Um. And that's why I don't like, you know, you know, taking control from the player and then forcing the camera to watch a plane crash or something. Because in, like, Call of Duty 1, you saw a plane crash because you heard it, so you looked that way yourself, you know? That made you feel way more immersed than having the camera lock on to, like, watch this plane crash as the camera, lo camera locks onto it. It's like, just have it make a loud crashing sound, and then the player will think, like, huh, what's that? And he'll look... And then himself, you know? Please stand by. Reinforcements have arrived. Oh, hey, Toby. How you doing? Were you away? Because I haven't seen you in chat for a long time. Did you go to bed earlier? Like the way I feel about COD, but then again, it gives own reason to exist yeah i mean i just love the cinematic feeling but just don't like it when it takes control from the player away Drop off that infantry in front of my MG. Ah, you were away. Okay, because I was missing you in the chat, man. <laughs> Glad you're back. Oh, the Modern Warfare sir, definitely had the most cutscenes. Yeah, the best cutscenes, okay. I mean, I don't mind cutscenes, but, you know. Like, I love, me like, Metal Gear Solid games are one of my favorite games, and, you know. Those are full of cutscenes. I just said I don't like it when, like, if you're gonna take control away from the player, just give it a give them a cutscene. If you're gonna be like, you're walking, oh, now you can't walk anymore. And you're walking, oh, now you can't walk anymore. That's just annoying. I think you should play through the Modern Warfare series if you haven't already. It's so good. Stupid at parts. Yeah, I'm planning to. I'm just not sure in what order. Like, uh, like I'm not sure if I'm gonna finish all of the Call of Duty games first. Probably not. Probably like after COD 3 or something. I'll start with Medal of Honor and like Brothers in Arms and stuff, and maybe sometime later down the line I'll do Modern Warfare. But I plan to eventually do all the COD games that have a single player campaign. Because, as far as, you know, 
just shooting, you know, they're good shooters, good modern military shooters, the feelings of the guns have always been good. Like, if, just how this works, like, uh, probably this defined, like, how shooters were later, like, with G to throw a grenade quickly and stuff like that, and the aim, I like that, the iron sights. Not saying that it should replace Doom, obviously it shouldn't. But, uh, you know. I do appreciate these kind of FPS games more than I used to in the past. But I do still think, you know, the classic FPS games are a whole lot different and in a lot of ways better. But, you know, this is like a different kind of FPS. More cinematic. It's, I'd, I'd say cinematic FPS. But it's good to keep shooting down a lot of enemies. Super. Also strong, man. I'm not sure if I told you already, but I quit nicotine. That's good, man. I hope you, uh. Or got rid of it for good. Turning players into payers. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Strongy. What? Happy birthday to you. It's not my birthday. My birthday is not until the end of October. Thanks for the cheers. Ah, no ammo! God damn it. The north. How old are you now? I am 23. And thank you for the cheers. I really like the fact that there are two Captain Prices in the card universe. Yeah, I heard about that. Like one in the modern era and one in the in the World War II era, right? Oh shit. How about you let me handle that? So many of them. Look at that. Oh yeah, definitely looks like a big map. But it's mostly because of the surrounding area, it's just a lot of desert. Oh, I'm coming up on him? Cool. Well, we'll see. Get a better viewpoint up on a roof, okay. The only one that has an open door. The only building. Yeah, this is the British section. First mission I just started. What am I supposed to mark? The 
this up tank. Nice direct hit. British. Who said British? I said British. Wow, that's pretty cool. Oh yeah, I agree with you, Chris. That's definitely a pretty cool part. Oh, look at all those soldiers there. to hit these guys. Oh wait, that's him, right? Yeah, that's Captain Price. There he is. Yeah, that's kind of bad, right? I do have COD 3 on the PS3, but it kind of sucks it wasn't on PC. Oh, there's another tank. See the damn tank. Too close, are you kidding me? thing is in the modern warfare series price says that he was previously in another war in this past <laughs> yeah I can't see that damn tank oh there it is Buy Panzer II. There's no possible way that is the actual same price. Yeah, I, that's true. He should be way older. But you know, it's still a funny like joke thing. Oh, there's a Crusaders! Oh yeah, support boys! If the 
opposition disarms well and good. If it refuses to disarm, we shall disarm it ourselves. Oof. You have GameCube, you should totally play Melivana Rising Sun. Um, actually, I do have Melivana Rising Sun on the PS2, and I do plan to stream that also one day. Like, right after Medal of Honor Frontline. Like, I want to stream Frontline and Rising Sun on the PS2. Although, Frontline also has an HD version on the PS3 store or something like that, I believe. So, maybe I'll get that. But yeah, totally in the plans to uh, do those games as well. Because those are a few classics of mine that I loved. Operation Supercharge. Split into groups of six per tank. Come on, boys. Let's go. Stay with the tanks. Noish. Yeah, Crusader tanks, boy. Freaking love Crusader tanks. They're cool. They just got cool turrets. Just look at this. Just look how cool that turret looks. Oh yeah. Oh, you own the HD version? It's kind of fucked. There's a really shitty ad system. What's that? Like, you could, don't tell me there's in-game ads. Let's go. <laughs> Aim down sights. Oh. Really, is it that bad? I'm not, I'm not even sure if there was an aim down sights uh, on the PS2 version or not. Man, this is so nicely made. So cool. Smoky balloon. Move it, move it, move it. Watch for those minefields! Careful of those minefields! Get a pineapple in that MG nest! Pineapple. Whoa, it just drives over the freaking barbed wire like that. Doesn't even destroy it. That's pretty funny. I don't see an MG nest. Not any weapon sights and sights again just kind of zooms in and removes it to the middle of the screen. Okay. Models are so slow resolution. Lower, there's basically isn't any sights. There isn't for you just kind of zoom in with the crossbar. Oh, I didn't even remember that. That was years ago since I played that. Damn it. Wow, ah, look how that scope is like on the side. That's pretty weird. I've never seen that before. Ah! Why the hell would that explode now? Right in my face. Yeah, I'm excited for Doom Eternal as well. And I rarely get excited for games. Like, honestly, I really rarely get excited for games. Captain Price! What's up, bro? I'm also slightly excited, like, I'm slightly excited for Rage 2 as well.
It's just weird to me that they revealed Rage 2 in a bigger way than Doom Eternal, even though Doom Eternal is something I'm more excited for, you know? It's like, I don't know, deserves more attention. Oh well, but uh, seven more days actually, Chris, and then there will be footage revealed, gameplay footage of uh, Doom Eternal, like on the 10th at QuakeCon. They're gonna show fo gameplay footage and I can't wait to see that. Good that it's gonna be on a Friday, so I'll hopefully be able to see it live. I'm just smashing them with his gun. What the hell? What's the point of this? I mean, you can shoot through there, but what the hell? It's just weird. Oh, it's to shoot from here to there. I get it. Dirt. Oh, this is pretty cool. Don't fall in the trench, damn it! That tank almost fell almost fell in the trench. Surprise, motherfucker! Weird how like we don't blow them up, because in in Call of Duty One you would like destroy all the 88s after you know taking out the crews, but here it's like no, just let them stand. I guess they're planning to use it for themselves later on. Sherman, Lucky Lucy, Greta Garbo, Untouchable. Ah, oh, no, he got destroyed. Wait, where's that trench? Oh, there's another tank. Damn, well, smoke, man. What the hell? Just attacking from behind. Shell impact. Like, this is freaking cool, like, you're supposed to just take cover behind a tank, otherwise you'll get shot to bits and stuff like that. Like, I love this kind of stuff. It really feels like you're just, you know, in a battlefield. So good. Cannonball. What the fuck? Who the hell just attacked me? Because that was him and he got taken up now. Uh, okay, so where am I supposed to go now? Oh, got to climb up here, okay. Yeah, 
Just love the use of smoke grenades in this game. Also, this aim down sight isn't looking through the hole, funnily enough. You do see the crosshair at the end, but it's like you're not... Like, if you go down, then you're looking through the hole. So it's not really very... Like, you see, like that. You should see it when you move down. But you're not. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you are supposed to actually look like this. Then what's the hole for, actually? I wonder now. Hmm... Yeah, I was wrong. You gotta watch like after the crosshair is visible now I look at it more careful. Hmm. So yeah, forget what I said. Hmm, so we gotta go back now, inside here. No. Uh oh. Don't blow my face off, Price. Go, go, go. Oh, were you not defending here? Like, there was not a guy shooting at us here. In front of me. God damn it, can't hit shit. <sighs> like, are those Germans? Oh, wait, they, there are. <laughs> Is building clear? Oh shit. Storm Cow and Her Majesty. Or is it uh, Storm Crow? Oh fuck, that's an ally. Are you kidding me? They're taking positions where there were enemies like a few seconds ago. Oh, damn it. Damn them. So far, our checkpoints haven't been terrible though. Fairly decent, decent uh, <coughs> checkpoints in this game. Or maybe I'm just lucky and I died at the right moments. What's that? Oh, that's a Panzer II, and now it looks... Wow, look at that model changing. <laughs> oh, I gotta check upstairs. Boys, you've just taught Rommel a lesson. 
Oh yeah. End of the beginning, Al Daba. Damn, those heat waves. Two cars, man. At least there were supposed to be two cars here, I'm not sure. Yeah, BFs as well, I think. I'm, I don't know. <laughs> we're like here for one second. That MG's a real bugger. We're using a German truck. Open lid. Ah, this is the only safe way I can go to flank them, maybe. Yeah, there we go. Popping a smoke here because it's not very safe. Who's this? Are those enemies now? Suddenly they're behind us again? Sometimes it just doesn't make sense. Oh, never mind, it's the other way. So what now? We go this way. No, we go there. No, he barely had a chance to shoot at me. He's just shooting at the wall with his pistol. Reminds me of freaking uh, Quake 2. another smoke hopefully gonna be able to get closer to them Enemy over there. Those 
More grenades, nice. Oh, they throw in the smoke as well. Dagnabbit! Alright, maybe I can flank them a tiny bit from there. I think there was something I need to grab though, yeah. Radio. As long as they don't hit us, just the boat, you know. Get them there. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Ow. Rip. Oh shit, man. Shot two, I, sh I threw two grenades in there and like ally just ran in there when I <laughs> when the first one exploded. Oh boy. How can they wear such black clothes in the desert? Time for the MP40. Who's hitting me? Oh, it's somewhere down there. Oh, and up there as well. Too bad this game doesn't have secrets though, at least I haven't found any secrets. Why weren't you helping your friend? He hitting me through that thing. No, grab that. Regroup on the top. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, MG time. Like, they know how powerful their MGs are. Why are they running in front of their own weapons, then? Get 
to brief with Captain Fry. Oh, really? There were just enemies over there. Freaking friendly fire kills, man. It's like, oh, there's enemies. Shoot them, shoot them. Oh, now there's allies. Okay. So much bullshit sometimes. It's like, they're retreating over there. But obviously I'll think, you know, that guy was an enemy. Well, that's a spot of luck. Not bad, McGregor. Nice fight. All right, listen up. We're finished here. Well done, boys. I'll drink to that, sir. Oh yeah, we finished this mission. Battle of El Alami Alamein Alamein. Nice. So yeah, this is what we've done. We've uh, freaking completed the Winter War. So it says uh, who you play as and where it was like near Moscow, 1941, and Stalingrad, 1942, and then Stalingrad, 1943, Fortress Stalingrad, and Battle of El Alamein, El Alamein, North Egypt, 1942. Next will be the tank squadrons, which hopefully that will be some tank missions. That's gonna be cool. Uh, yeah, we're gonna be somewhere else, Commander David. So yeah, that's gonna be a tank mission. Oh, I can't wait for that. It's gonna be freaking amazing. Now Rommel's Last Stand, 1943. And the last one is locked, and then we got three American uh, things as well. All right, there's two buttons to switch difficulty, that's odd. Okay, well, freaking amazing so far, and I don't think I've completed this before or played it, really. But yeah, I'm really enjoying this, it's a great game. Freaking cool, and I love Call of Duty 1 as well, like, damn, if, I wonder if there's, like, mods for these games or something, I don't know, like, I bet there's, if there's, like, a moddable game, there could be some cool, like, World War II missions to, like, you know, make a lot of mission, uh, content and stuff like that that's freaking cool yeah we need more world war ii uh, games and stuff we need that a lot all right so who can we uh who can we host um let's see i've already hosted demonic kitty uh i think two days ago or something I always want to share my hosts uh, to as many different people as I can. Um, 42 I've hosted recently. Um, I mean, he... is there someone else playing Doom as well? Let's see, he's playing Ancient Aliens. That's a good wad, very well known. Um, let's see, who's playing Doom? Two people just, okay. Huh. <laughs> All people I follow now are the only current Doom streamers, yeah. Um, freaking... I guess Rector Fire, he's playing Guitar Hero again, that might be fun. I haven't rated him for uh, in a while, he'll probably appreciate it. Let's see if I can properly spell his name. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, he's playing, like, Guitar Hero stuff and stuff like that stuff. So yeah, uh, freaking thank you to everyone chilling with me tonight. It's been an amazing uh, stream again. Uh, stay tuned for Doom tomorrow, Doom Friday. Even though I stream Doom on multiple days as well when I can, but you know, on Friday as well. I'm gonna have a busy day tomorrow at work and then I'll come home tired and ready to stream Doom. And then yeah, we'll enter the weekend and during the weekend there's gonna be even more streams. Probably gonna stream more Call of Duty 2. Maybe Serious Sam too. I don't know. Really gotta 
see what I want to play depends. Uh, but yeah, maybe even Doom more as well. It really depends. Maybe Hotline Miami too. It's just it just all depends on what I want to play. So yeah. Thank you so much for chilling with me. Feel free to check out all the links below for Discord to stay up to date. That's where I update the most and uh, stuff like that. We have the most community there. Amazing people. You guys make my evening so much fun to, you know, chill with me and chat and all that stuff. So, yeah, let's say hi to Rectifier. Hopefully, uh, there's going to be some people coming with me. Two Raiders, three Raiders. Three Raiders, all right, better than nothing. Freaking thank you for watching, and uh, have a good night, guys. See you tomorrow.